will destroy you.
I'm sorry you had to face me. Thank <laughs> you. 
We shall have a glorious duel. Fierce opponent. Very well, then, let us cross blades. Never piss me off again, Izanagi.
This story takes place a long time ago, in another world, where talented warriors, trained in martial arts by the gods they worshipped, protected the people from criminals and demons. These warriors were called samurai. This tale finds its roots in the village of Aki, where, according to legend, samurai were blessed by the raven god Tengu. It is said that the samurai were able to defeat their opponents with a single blow. Their leader, Susano, was an unrivaled fighter, master of the arts of winds and storms. She was so fierce and brutal on the battlefield that she could be mistaken for a man, a beast, or even a monster. A bitter rivalry between the two commanders of the Aki and Natsu clans escalated into a violent war that plagued their villagers for many years and showed no signs of stopping anytime soon. At the heart of this unending chaos starts the tale of the samurai, Jinmu, an orphan raised by Susano. One day, in the village of the Raven, our hero was finishing his training. As he'd done since a young age, Jinmu warmed up in the dojo, following the training required by the village chief. He was the most promising disciple. He put in quite the effort, firmly hoping to one day play his part in the protection of his people. He knew this for sure. The Natsu clan leader, Amaterasu, was no man to call troops.
Jinmu knew the origin of the Natsu clan like the back of his hand. Like everyone else, he was aware that Susano's eternal rival had betrayed her twice, turning against his own allies and mercilessly slaughtering his comrades to satisfy his selfish desires. It was because of Amaterasu that Jinmo had lost both his father and his mother, whom he had never known. And so Susano had to raise him in their stead. Yeah. Yet, it was not out of vengeance that Jinmu wished to fight, but to protect his own. It was from this unwavering determination that he drew his... Jinmu's training was coming to an end, culminating in a final challenge against his friend. Finally catching up, eh, little raven? Maybe I can stop holding back now. Boast all you want. You weren't that talented at my age. <laughs> I won! His confidence was not misplaced. None of his seniors or superiors could defeat him. But even though Jinmu outstripped all his peers, he still hadn't managed to surpass his master. Jinwu, at last you've arrived. Are you ready to complete your training? I've been ready for a long time. I won't disappoint you, Grandmother. I expected nothing less from you. On guard! Ooh.
I won. I did it. What spirit you have. Sometimes you remind me of your father. But you wouldn't have been able to touch me if I had called upon the Tengu god. I'm sure I can. Let's have a rematch. And don't hold back this time. That arrogance it reminds me of. No, it doesn't matter. Only the power of a god can surpass the power of another god. Still, you f Does that mean I can join the battle? Very well. You will join the fight against the Natsu clan. But you will stay in the back ranks and listen to your superior's orders. Don't be a hero. I know your heart is good, but have no mercy for these traitors. Advance with us to victory and avenge our people. I will protect you with the storm of our god, Tengu. Your training is complete. And I can now give you your weapon. The katana is a samurai's best ally. Take care of it and carry it with you wherever you go. Weeks passed, and unfortunately war broke out once again. It was time to head out to battle. The Aki clan advanced through the valley to respond to the Natsu attack, and Jinmu hastened to join Akiku and his fellow samurai. 